Hey everybody, Chef Jerome Judge here, aka Chef Big Head of course. Welcome to another episode of Recipes Off the Rails. Welcome back to the Bloated Chef. Chef Jerome Judge here, aka Chef Bigot, of course, and today we are working with polenta, or as they call it down here in the deep south, grits, marsala wine, some good old fashioned Kerrygold butter. We've got wonderful wild mushrooms, the last of my charge, shishito peppers and onions, garlic, lemons, salt, pepper, smoke sea salt, that is. We've got herbs, we've got green onions, but most importantly, we've got vegetable bouillon, very concentrated. We are presenting grilled polenta cakes with a wild mushroom ragu. All righty then, we will first things first, take that vegetable bouillon cube, highly concentrated, very flavorful, you find it at your local Asian supermarket, dissolve that in some nice hot tap water, whip that around, and we can set that aside. All right, next step, crank our heat up, drop down our little pot, add that vegetable stock. We're gonna whip it once more, twice more, make sure we get it as dissolved as we can. And now we're gonna start infusing that with some fresh herb stems, you know, leftover. Like I said, don't ever throw anything out. Freeze your stems, use them. There goes a piece of lemon with the pith and the flesh, and here goes a piece of garlic. And let's not forget the fatty Irish butter, of course. Now then, bring that to a boil. You can, now you can start fishing out all the stems. Any loose herbs that happen to stay in there, fine by me. Grab those lemons, the lemon rinds, get those stems out of there. Make sure it's all good and clear. And now we'll go ahead and we'll add our polenta, AKA grits. All right, so about three cups of liquid to about one and a half cups of grits. We will add some granulated onion into that and we'll check our consistency. It still looks a little thick, so we will move on, let that go a little bit more. Let's check it again. And as you can see, it's a little bit on the pasty, if not droopy side. It's not quite smooth. So we will add about another half a cup for now. Work that in. Let that go. Let's see how it works out. We'll take a look. We added about a half a cup more, so it's almost four cups to one and a half cups of these grits, but look at that consistency. Boy, oh boy, that is perfect. All righty, we'll take those perfect grits, lay them in our pan, smooth them out, and stick them in the fridge to cool, all right? And now we take the cheap thickener that you can buy at the local supermarket and drop in our secret ingredient, the French onion dip mix. And now we've got mise en place number two. We start with our mushrooms and charred shishito onions and peppers. We've got olive oil, extra virgin, and more of the Kerrygold butter. We've got some more seasonings, salt and pepper, and then we've got marsala with which we will deglaze. Next step, the pan is hot. In goes the olive oil, in goes the curry gold butter, of course. Rich in fat and goodness. Swirl it around and in goes our mushroom and onion and peppers mix and we begin the saute. So it's time to season, of course. Always season your food, people. There goes some fresh sea salt. There goes some fresh ground black pepper. We are going to saute and move those around and in goes that garlic. Once the mushrooms are all kind of opaque and cooked, we will bloom that garlic for just about two or three minutes. And now it's time for the next step. 
And that next step, of course, is to deglaze with a little bit of lemon juice. Give it that little citrus pop and brighten up this heaviness. And now comes the Marsala. Now we want to go ahead and add enough, but not too much. We want to make sure that the top level of the mushrooms are covered and it cooks down by half. All right, so the mushrooms are cooked down. Now clear a path and check to see how much liquid's left over, and that's beautiful. A little bit, but not much. So now we'll add that thickening agent, the packaged brown gravy with the French onion dip mix, and we'll simmer. Now then, about two to three minutes later, as it thickens, we need to cut into all that richness. So what better than some lemon juice? Yeah, get rid of that last sticky seed that gets in there, and we'll add some green onion for a little bit of tang and pop and this thing's about ready to go so now our polenta is ready now they're about a half inch thick which is perfect we're going to cut these into eight so once down the middle and then two four six and then eight and we're ready to griddle Hot fire, clean grill, and we are ready to go. Dropping down our little polenta steaks. One down, two down, and three down. Should only take about two, two and a half minutes on each side. There's some nice defined grill marks. We'll flip that over once. Now we'll go back about two minutes later, and give each one a quarter turn to get those nice hatch marks slash grill marks. And now we go for the show-stopping presentation. Yes, a sizzle plate. Down go the grilled polenta cakes. And on goes that wild mushroom and shishito pepper ragu. How good does that look? How good does that look? Okay, so now we add a little bit of green onion again, just for some color. But here's the kicker. I'm gonna go ahead and zest about a quarter of a lime right across the top and add a really bright freshness to this dish. and genital thank you so much for watching do me a favor please don't forget to click on that big subscribe button slap down on that like button drop a comment in the comment section and maybe even share with your friends thanks so much